this some kind of sick joke? You might as well set them alight with petrol! That is excruciating suffering and fear! Keep going down as you guys. We're gonna get in court. Hey guys, just uh, doing our uh, legal right to assembly. No intention to cause any harassment, alarm, or distress. Oh, sounds good. No worries, guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. So that's the RSPCA officers there. I think I'm going to need down the RSPCA street. Hey, officers. You know? Stop playing the screams, bro. These are the screams of the desperate six-month-old pigs that are tortured in gas chambers that the RSPCA adorns their logo on. The RSPCA is supposed to be an animal Charity, you have a duty to protect animals. So why are you adorning your logo on the flesh of pigs who have been tortured in your approved gas chambers? You have an extreme level of culpability because you are misusing your trust with the public. Nine months ago, I released footage from inside a Pilgrim's Pride gas chamber in Manchester. In the footage, you see sentient animals desperately trying to escape the gas, suffering to death in their own feces and urine. Many of these pigs come from RSPCA assured farms. Why has nothing been done? Why is your label still adorned on pork products, knowing these animals are tortured? On your website it says that all RSPCA assured animals are stunned before slaughter. That is a lie. CO2 gas tortures them before they are stunned. That is a fact. Why are you not letting Consumers know. Is it because you have a financial conflict of interest? Your charitable funds come from the meat industry. You make money off of animal products sold. You get money from those who are abusing, exploiting the animals. That is a huge conflict of interest. Shame on the RSPCA! Shame on the RSPCA! Shame on the RSPCA! Shame on the RSPCA! Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! We know many of you might have started working here because you wanted to help animals. We also know many of you in the RSPCA assured are connected to farming, making money off of animals, or have worked in farming. We've seen your technical advisory board, many of whom are part of big farming companies. This is inconsistent. These are contradictions. How can you help animals while people are making money off of their slaughter that are connected to you? How can you favour the interests of the animal while you're favouring the interests of those who are making money from their slaughter? Could that be why you will not condemn CO2 gas chambers publicly? Is that why you signed an underhanded ban? Why is there not statements all over your website condemning CO2 gas? Why not? Is it because there's no financially viable alternative? Why do you care about that? 
The animals should come first. Shame on the RSPCA. Shame on the RSPCA. You are favoring corporate profit over the interests of the animals. You have not done enough. You are misleading the public. The RSPCA is now the meat industry. We can't tell you apart. Your PR spiel about CO2 in the slaughter part of your website is laughable. 90% gas causes the animals to suffer less. Shameful, shameful. Did those animals at Pilgrim's Pride look like they were suffering less? The RSPCA outright condemns non-stun halal slaughter because it goes against their principles, their values apparently. Because the animals have their throats slashed whilst fully conscious. So they can't, in good faith, put their label on those products. If that's the case, if you're concerned with animals suffering before being stunned, then why would you allow CO2 gas, which tortures the animals before they lose sensibility to pain? This is not stunning. Doesn't this go against your values? What exactly are your values? Why on earth are you involved with the meat industry? Taking money from them. How can you independently police the animal farming industry when they are paying, literally paying your wages? Wow! Animal farmers don't pay my wages. I don't have a conflict of interest. Therefore, I can assess the situation accurately. You have extreme culpability. We know what the meat industry is, but the public don't know what you are. Do you protect animals? Or do you endorse their literal torture and the violation of their right to life? Norfolk Free Range Farm was RSPCA assured. We saw your certificates in their office and we know you reassured it a month after our investigation. Where were your vets? Where were your officers? Why did it take me to film that and bring it out to the public? Could it be that because the industry are paying your vets wages that they overlook certain things? This is a conflict of interest. You need to be independent of the meat industry. You need to be independent of animal farming. You need to be independent in order to police them without corruption. That's what the animals deserve. Shame, shame, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. Shame on the RSPCA. Shame on the RSPCA. Shame on the RSPCA. Animal traitors. The Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Yet you promote on your website the consumption of animals, many of whom have been tortured, either on farm, egregious suffering that you cannot oversee. You do one annual in inspection on these farms. One. How laughable. How laughable. Is this a joke? Is this some kind of sick joke? You don't care about animals. You care about money. This is RSPCA. They put their logo on the bacon of, from pigs that killed in gas chambers. They assure that they assure it. And I got the. I made a film here. Pignorant. You can watch it on Amazon Prime right now. Sure. The UK shows how we got the footage. First footage in the UK. They have stood up and been clear as day on those two topics. Hey mate, how are you? Uh, I, watched, uh, I watched quite a lot of your videos. Your videos. Oh really? 
work. Did you see the documentary? I haven't seen it. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Okay. It's the reason we are protesting, actually, yeah. the RSPCA. We mentioned them quite a lot in the documentary, so. Oh, we have heard of it. Oh, great. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. They torture the pigs in gas chambers, essentially. And as RSPCA put their logo on it, it tricks consumers into buying it. We know not everyone at the RSPCA is involved with the ins assurance scheme. Maybe some of you disagree with it. Maybe some of you work at the RSPCA to help other animals. Some of you are even vegan. I know that. We're not condemning each and every one of you the same, but there is a serious problem, a serious problem with RSPCA Assured. And there's a serious problem with the RSPCA charity allowing their name to be used for the assurance scheme that is essentially meat industry propaganda. That is a serious ethical issue. Isn't that false advertising? You know what you're assuring. You cannot claim ignorance. The footage is now on Amazon Prime for everyone to see. Everyone can see now that the RSPCA are a bunch of liars who are misleading people. <laughs> RSPCA assured are propagandists. You do one inspection a year on farms. That wasn't enough at Norfolk Free Range, was it? That one pathetic ex inspection where you notify the farm before you or you're coming. Could you imagine if these police officers notified a drug dealer before they were going to raid his house? Hey mate, we're gonna raid your house in a week. Just, just reminding you of that. Pathetic. How does that protect animals? You know these farms are rife with cruelty, rife with suffering. You know that. It's unavoidable. It's an unavoidable fact of the meat industry. How can you adorn your logo on this? Someone in this building is laughing because they think pigs screaming in terror is funny. Pigs are exactly like dogs in every way that matters. They are sentient beings, intelligent beings, curious beings. And one of these scumbags in this building thinks it's funny that the RSPCA are assuring their torture. I've no words for the lack of decency and the lack of empathy you have for these beautiful, playful, intelligent beings. If you think it's so funny, why don't you put up the video right now and watch it? Watch the pigs suffering to death in these gas chambers, defecating all over themselves in terror. Watch it. Imagine yourself in the pig's position. Would it be so funny then? Shameful. The RSPCA have two kind of sectors. One of them is RSPCA assured, completely corrupt, paid by farmers. Yeah, paid by more meat sales, making a markup on animal products sold. Your salaries are partly being paid from the fact that gas chambers exist. Doesn't that disturb you? Aren't you disturbed by that fact? Now the original RSPCA should have never got involved in animal farming. You should have never allowed your name to be adorned all over pig corpses and other animals. You've just discredited your entire organisation that may do good work for animals. But you've got this tumour on your side called RSPCA Assured. Don't tell me they have to take money from the meat industry. Don't tell me that. You get plenty of charitable donations. You can redirect some of that into policing independently these animal abusing farmers. Shame.
Shame on the RSPCA! Gas is torture, stop the slaughter! Gas is torture, stop the slaughter! Do you know what's incredibly disturbing and disappointing? That it was up to me to expose these torture chambers in the UK. Why didn't you do it? Why didn't the RSPCA do it? What is your annual charitable income? What is it? A hundred times of mine? Two hundred times? A thousand times? I don't know. If you truly cared about the interests of animals, you would have done something about it. It's no secret. It's no secret. CO2 tortures pigs. The footage doesn't lie, unlike you. Shame on the RSPCA. Shame, shame, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. What was all the yelling? What was all the screaming? Those screams sound like they came out of hell. That couldn't be anything to do with the RSPCA, could it? Those animals sound like they were being tortured to death. What are you going to do, RSPCA? Are you going to help them? Are you going to get paid by the monsters who do this to them? You're an animal welfare charity. These animals are being tortured, literally tortured. They are being tormented in agony in their own sh in a dungeon filled with aversive gas that burns their eyes, their nose, their lungs, and they struggle. And inhaling this gas causes terror, fear. You can't breathe. You start panicking. Have any of you ever inhaled CO2 gas? I have. When I stuck my head in the chamber to put the bloody cameras in it. It fills you with terror. It burns your eyes. And you think 90% causes less suffering? It causes more suffering for a slightly shorter period of time. You might as well set them alight with petrol. They become insensible to pain after a little while. But it's excruciating suffering and fear. You have an opportunity to remove yourself from any association with the pork industry. You have an opportunity to remove your logos from animal products. You have an opportunity to become independent police of the meat industry so you can't be corrupted, so there's no conflict of interest. Have you had any engagement from the RSPCA? Yeah, it's statement if you want to that, but they're not going to come down. No. They're not going to come down. But they're prepared to make a statement? A prepared statement. Yeah. Okay. Is that something you want? Oh yeah, no, I mean, yeah, let them know. I would be ashamed if I was them. I'd be ashamed of myself. They know. They, they know very well. They know very well. So they're hoping it goes away. So, um, you know, it's not going to. No one likes to be called him. We've made quite a statement today as activists, animal rights activists, vegans. What we're trying to do is encourage boycotts. This is, well, this is just a clever way of saying RSPCA torture pigs in gas chambers. They assure it. Don't buy it. So anyone who wants a higher welfare option, instead of going, oh, Red Tractor's factory farming, Oh, well, RSPCA is shorter, like higher welfare. And we say, no, they torture animals. And well, then what do I do? Well, just stop eating animals. It's yeah. like it's like one step. Then you can talk about the dairy and the eggs. Well, the RSPCA already lied to them now. They already lied to them, so they've got no trust. Yeah. You can't trust the meat industry. Uh, RSPCA might, might have a little surprise coming that they might not like be too happy about as well. So like, it's just like, I'm giving them all opportunities right now. Mm -hmm. I'm actually doing the right thing. I'm saying, here is your opportunity. 
here's your opportunity to condemn this thing, to pull out of it, to stop your support of it, to I'm giving the supermarkets opportunities to say, we, we want to be transparent. I'm doing all of that. And they're, not, they're still not doing anything. So wh where does that leave us? You know, I'm not saying it for no reason. So their customers will find out that they torture animals and try to hide it from them. And yeah. Are you going to be local tonight or are you going to be Oh, no, no, not too far, oh, but I'm not too far away. Probably London, in the London area, in metropolitan area. Amazing. Why is that? You want to come over for a beer? <laughs> come on, mate. Oh, I'm never away. Oh, yeah. Come on, mate. You want to come over for a vegan meal? Tempted. <laughs> No, they've been they've been caged in there, man. So they are planning a statement. So they're going to email to you the email address you've given me. Okay. And the inbox very soon. Yeah. All right, I'll keep checking. Thank you. Um, I hope that we get the pigeons resolved, but so then we can leave. I just hope or we can report that to some kind of. <laughs> we would like to say the RSPCA. Can we also see the left hand side? Yeah. More to the left. Oh, he's oh. out. He's out. <laughs> you silly pigeon, what are you doing? We can leave in good conscience now. Yeah.